Hello, America, and welcome to Talkin' Pets with your host, John Patch. Join John and his expert guests with all of your pet questions, concerns, comments, and stories. Now it's time for Talkin' Pets with your host, John Patch. But right now I want to introduce Dr. Uh, Robin Gansert. Am I saying your last name right? Is it Gansert? Gansert, that's right. Sounds good, sounds good. I want to introduce you to Jilly and also uh, Lexi. Hello, Doc. Hello. Hi. And everybody else, today? everybody else that's tuned in across America and beyond, because yes. uh, apparently we got people in London uh, listening to us right now. Um, so, but I wanted to find out saving America's vets and America's pets, and we don't have um, a lot of time in this segment, but I do want to get into this mm-hmm. with you. It's a new national initiative by American Humane. It seeks to help uh, stem tide of veteran suicide and euthanasia of shelter animals. Now, you've got a graduating class of these trained animals, but before we get into that, how old is American Humane, the organization? Well, Amer- American Humane is this country's very first national humane organization founded way back in 1877, so 140 years old, and we've been working wow. on lifting up the power of the human-animal bond, you know, and having animals in, in all forms in our lives, which is so wonderful for those of us that love animals. And the one thing that I thought was interesting when I was reading up on um, your on, on, on actually the PR here on saving America's vets and America uh, America's pets was that you make a statement in here that every day twenty veteran uh, twenty veterans are struggling with the um, invisible wounds of war that take their lives, and also six hundred and seventy thousand dogs are euthanized in the U.S. shelters each year. A lot of veterans per day, twenty per day. And dogs, of course, uh, each year, 670,000 dogs. That's right. It's a crisis on both ends of the leash. And so what we realized, uh, that there was this epidemic, an epidemic of 20 war heroes coming back from, you know, the fight on terror and from all parts of the world, 20 of them committing suicide every day. We knew we had to do something. And then we've recognized for generations that we've been euthanizing too many healthy, adoptable pets. So how could we build a bridge between these two big moral epidemics that face our country today? And we decided the best way to do it was to lift up the human-animal bond, develop the first-ever national training standard for service dogs to apply to wounded warriors, and then make sure that we bring that out to America. And we're so thrilled that this weekend is the first graduating class under these new national service dog training standards uh, will be unveiled here on Long Island. That's awesome. That's that is great. great. What's the waiting list? I mean, for it, it, basically, a lot of these veterans never see a dog, or their waiting lists are years on years. I mean, how does it? How does American Humane deal with like finding which veterans or which people are, are most needy for these dogs? Well, you know, the waiting list is eighteen to twenty-four months long. So, if there's a veteran out there and he wants or she wants a service dog, they have to wait almost two years. And when I think about the number of suicides per day, I'm just wondering, how can we speed this up? And so what we decided to do over a year ago was to apply a uh, just a, a wonderful a wonderful case to this and say, how can we bring human medical professionals together, those animal welfare professionals, dog trainers, ethicists, put them all in a room together and say, let's design the best program around this. And that's Again, the product of that is what we're unveiling this weekend in the first ever graduating class. Because for us, two years is too long to wait, especially when we're killing so many dogs in right. shelters every single year. Right. right. Now, you also have some uh, celebrities involved. Uh, Naomi Judd is involved with, uh, with the organization and the NHL star Matt Martin, uh, former PepsiCo uh, Restaurants International CEO Tim Lane, Hallmark Channel's president mm-hmm. and CEO Bill Abbott, and New York City <laughs> socialite Gene um, Sh- Shafiroff? Shafiroff. Um, Shafiroff, yes. And so many more will be part of this first ever graduating uh, ceremony. And what I'm so thrilled to tell you is that, you know, while we have human celebrities there, the real celebrities for this big festive event is the human heroes who, uh, you know, sacrifice so much for our country and for our freedom. And importantly, those incredible dogs that yeah, are given a second chance at life and forever loving home. How many will typically come out of, of each class? Um, how many wounded warriors are matched up with their, their specific dog? We will have, uh, you know, believe it or not, we tested this case out, this uh, the new standards out. We have four graduating on Sunday, and then okay. we're going to ramp up in the fall, and you'll see big numbers coming out this fall. We wanted to test it out, and so four will be matched uh, this Sunday. 
Wonderful. Um, Isn't that Dr. wonderful? Dr. Robin, how do people find out more about this, and how do veterans actually apply for a dog if they would like to? Is there a website that you have? Absolutely. We encourage everyone to visit AmericanHumane.org, and on that site you'll find lots of details and certainly uh, a massive announcement and video from Sunday's graduation event. And we will have a page up very soon for veterans to apply for service dogs as we ramp up uh, the second phase of this and roll out uh, more numbers of these incredible uh, dogs. We're also so thrilled that Pups for Patriots, new legislation will be rolled out in the halls of Congress here very soon, introduced into a very important committee for which we hope Congress enacts Pups for Patriots, which will require this new national training standard to be the rule of the land so we can encourage so many more shelter dogs to be rescued, Fantastic. trained properly, and matched with our wounded warriors. And that's AmericanHumane.org is the website if you want to check into it. I know it's a short segment, uh, Dr. Robin Ganzert, President and CEO of American Humane, but thanks so much for uh, calling in and and giving us this information. And on our website, TalkingPets.com, we we post a lot of uh, press releases and stuff, so I hope you'll keep me on the list, and we'll post the press releases so people can find out more information as well. Wonderful. Thanks so much.